The Spy Who Came In From The Cold By John Le Carre The American handed Lemus another cup of coffee and said, Why don't you go back and sleep? We can ring you if he shows up. Lemus said nothing, just stared through the window of the checkpoint along the empty street. You can't wait forever, sir. Maybe he'll come back some other time. We can have the polizai contact the agency. You can be back here in twenty minutes. No, said Lemus. It's nearly dark now. But you can't wait forever. He's nine hours over schedule. If you want to go, go. You've been very good, Lemus added. I'll tell Kramer you've been damn good. But how long will you wait? Until he comes. Lemus walked to the observation window and stood between the two motionless policemen. Their binoculars were trained on the eastern checkpoint. He's waiting for the dark, Lemus muttered. I know he is. This morning you said he'd come across with the workmen. Lemus turned on him. Agents aren't airplanes. They don't have schedules. He's blown. He's on the run. He's frightened. Munts after him. Now, at this moment. He's got only one chance. Let him choose his time. 